Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Carson Cloud. So in, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable self-service password reset in Azure Active Directory. So there's two places you have um, to you have to configure for SSPR, which is stand for self-service password reset. So the first one, the first location you're going to have to configure is the actual Azure AD Connect installer you just click on the um, the shortcuts on the desktop and click on configured click on customize synchronization options highlight that and then click next enter your global admin credentials All right, yeah, click next. I'm not going to make any changes here. Click next. Option features. You want to make sure the password write back is checked. So this is box should be checked. And if it's already checked, just and, uh, leave it check if it's not go ahead and check it and click next and next and configured while it's doing that we need to go to Azure portal and enable the SSRP I'm sorry SSPR let's go to office 365 admin center Azure Active Directory and click on users password reset it's right here i have it selected to the test group that i'm going to deploy to or enable to so if you want to enable for all users just click on all here um, at this time i recommend to deploy to test groups only you, it has to be security groups. It cannot be um, a user. A user has to be a member of the security groups. And the registrations require user to register when sign in. So the next time user log in, it's going to require them to register for self-service password reset. And you can set it to uh, 180 days for number of days before user asked to reconfirm. That's six months. Customization. You can customize the link to your help desk uh, internal website or external website. on premise integration. So right back password to your on-prem Active Directory, you want to make sure it is yes. Allow user to unlock account without resetting the password, their password. So I recommend this is no. You want to make sure user change the password um, after they reset their account. So this is it. This is all you have to do. Um, once you integrate it, you should see this green check mark. That means it's good to go. Now, let's look at um, and test one of my account, my test account.
I have to log out of this account first. It is Larry at carsoncloud.com. So this is what exact uh, what the user will see exactly um, uh, similar to the screen. So we click next. It's going to ask you to use it to register. So authentication found is not configured. So they must be configured. One of these um, options, either phone or email. So if I click on set up now, I have to enter the phone number. So that's that's how you do it. If you have any question, feel free to put your question in the comment sections. And thank you for watching. If you love the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.